Great to have you with us. I'm Joe Donlin. And I'm Erica Sargent. There is a lot of news to get to tonight. Right now, Florida taking a direct hit from one of the most powerful storms in U.S. history. The Category 4 storm battering the state of Florida with 150 mile per hour winds, and it is not over yet. Alarms going off as the storm surge swallows Fort Myers. You can barely see the tops of cars submerged in the water. You see firefighters there in Naples forced to wade through waist deep, cold, and murky waters. They had to unload equipment from trucks to salvage it and prevent a possible fire. The first floor of the Naples fire station completely flooded. And if you have any doubt about how bad the storm surge is, take a look at this closely there. That is a shark swimming around in what was a road just 24 hours ago. The person who posted this video says this is a neighborhood in Fort Myers, which has seen some of the worst flooding so far. And a live picture now out of Port Canaveral, which is along the east coast of Florida, where they are now bracing for some of the worst weather. We have team coverage on Hurricane Ian. Sabrina Franza reporting on local efforts, but we begin with Chief Meteorologist Albert Ramon tracking the storm. Albert. Eric and Joe, the brand new update just in in the last about 90 seconds. This is now a category one hurricane, 90 mile per hour sustained winds crawling to the north northeast at only eight miles per hour and located about 75 miles due south of Orlando. This is uh, what's left of the northern areas of Iowa. So this is where those 90 per hour plus wind gusts are located and a tremendous amount of rainfall. The video you just saw with the flooded streets in Fort Myers, that was storm surge. That was Gulf of Mexico water moving inland. Now it's the flash flood threat. And I want to show you how much rain has fallen just in the last several hours. With that northern portion of the Iowa, 12, 17, even near 20 inches of rainfall. And that Iowa is headed towards the Orlando area. We expect this to be a tropical storm tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. located near Orlando passing over Daytona Beach by mid morning tomorrow and by tomorrow afternoon and evening it's out over the Atlantic. This could briefly strengthen it before it makes another landfall near Savannah or Charleston as we head into Friday afternoon. Rainfall, though, the big threat now. We're talking about a swath of rainfall that could potentially be as much as two feet between Orlando and Daytona Beach. Three to five inches of rainfall expected as we head towards Friday into the weekend in the Carolinas. Back with the full forecast in a few minutes. We'll see you then, Albert. Thanks. Right now, rescuers in Florida getting ready for cleanup and recovery from Hurricane Ian. Those rescue workers coming from across the country to help, and it's still too early at this point to fully assess the damage. Our Sabrina Franza live in the control room now with the latest on this. Sabrina? And as Hurricane Ian tears through southwest Florida, help from our area is on the way. We spoke with one woman before she begins her two-week deployment. It is, for me, the one time that I feel that people truly need help. This will be Yasmin Clinton's 10th deployment with the American Red Cross. This time, supervising shelters for those who had to flee their homes, homes rendered inhabitable by Ian's intense storm surge, a slow-moving major Category 4 hurricane rocking the southwest part of Florida. Make sure they're fed, they have a place to, to sleep, and then we'll start helping them with their other needs. She didn't have much notice. That doesn't mean she isn't prepared. I do keep that particular backpack um, packed. In the five years she's been working with the Red Cross, the motivation, the mission is the same. I just really love seeing the faces of the clients when they're ready to go home. Home is much further for some, like those who were on vacation. They were supposed to go to Disney and Universal. That just got all canceled. Elizabeth Strama and her husband are in Disney for their 11th anniversary, far, far away from Northwest Indiana. Now sheltering in place. The lines were outrageous going by the front desk. I'm guessing people ch either checking out today or coming in and trying to figure out where to go. They sent us these images, Disney characters calling kids in the lobby, almost two hour lines to find food at the resort, trees blowing around from their window. We're in the middle of selling our house, remodeling it, uh, tons of stuff with that. Just needed a kind of a break anniversary getaway. Right now, the couple are not allowed to leave the resort until they get the all clear. Their flight out of Florida is supposed to be on Sunday. Meanwhile, Clinton's flight in is in just a few hours. We're in the control room. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.
CBS is teaming up with the Red Cross to help those in the path of Hurricane Ian. We've created a website for your donations to the Red Cross. Just go to cbsnews.com slash Red Cross. And the first alert weather team will stay on top of the changing weather. You can watch live reports on our streaming network, which you can find on CBS Chicago, Pluto, Paramount Plus, Fire TV, or Roku.